Friday at 9, Tuesday, Thursday at 8, or whatever it is. It's the inexorability. I don't really mind grading papers. I don't mind having students come and ask kind of odd questions, but it's the, it's the lockstep march that I find difficult. Okay. I would like to thank, first of all, Virginia Trimble for giving us a very inspirational and interesting talk. I would also like to thank a few other people and organizations. Uh, first of all, uh, groups who helped to put this on with publicity, uh, physical preparation. So first, uh, I'd like to ask any members of the Society of Physics students to please stand up and be recognized because they helped a lot with the preparations, with the posters, answering questions for high school students. Any SPS members here? You can raise your hands. Or There are quite a few of them in the back. Uh, number two, Mortarboard Senior Honorary uh, also helped with publicity. Are any Mortarboard members here? And you better be because I'm your advisor. <laughs> any Mortarboard members? Number three, the... Okay, I'm going to have a chat with them. They, they honor uh, scholarship, leadership, and service, and this is scholarship. Uh, the Louisville Astronomical Society also traditionally helps. Uh, they have telescopes outside, although uh, perhaps it's uh, cloudy. They also helped with putting up posters all over town. Any LAS members here? Please raise your hands or stand. Thank you. The LAS, by the way, was also very helpful in getting this planetarium uh, built in the sense of having community support. There was a planetarium here from the 1960s, uh, Rauch Planetarium, and uh, after 40 years, it was older and it was knocked down. And the Louisville Astronomical Society, among others, and the Jewish community as well, helped to get this new planetarium uh, built. And uh, other philanthropists in the community. And uh, finally, I would like to thank the high school teachers. Are there any high school teachers here? Okay. Who brought their students, or who are inspiring their students, to come here as future potential bullet scholars and to learn new things. So thank you for the high school students and teachers to come here. <laughs> After the lecture, we will have some light refreshments provided by uh, Mr. Lowry Watkins Jr. and we'll have a chance to talk with uh, Virginia Trimble some more who is one of the people who not only does a lot of research and who has done the uh, evaluations of many, uh, many journal articles, but she also, one of the things that I didn't mention before, was she won the Van Biesbrock Award, which is an award for service, selfless service to the profession. And uh, that's put out by the American Astronomical Society. It's a professional society for astronomers. Okay, uh, okay, self-full. No, uh, above and beyond the call of above and Yes, okay. Uh, I'm ashamed to say that uh, I botched that one, but I was on the committee. Yes, I know. Donna chaired it. Yes, so uh, we uh, considered a lot of people, and out of all of the people in the As American Astronomical Society, 10 or 20,000 people, uh, there are a few individuals who went far above and beyond the call of duty, and Virginia is one of them, so thank you very much.